You know, I would swear this door needs a little bit of oil. Any house for today, we are going to do something for mom it looks like. There was something up with a truck. I hope you haven't already left Clinton. Can we make it a late dinner? I picked up the new solarium today and I wanted to try it out. Don't call, I'll lock myself up in the basement with Sunny Max for the next couple of hours. See you tonight. All turned up. Alright, I wonder where this is all about. This is a new place, so it's the final diversion. Alright, let's check it out. Save Tracy and Cunnington by making sure Mr. Yuppity Dubbity uh, Terminator falls into the ocean without exploding. Alright, here we go. So this thing needs to go to the ocean and it may not explode, but I wonder how that works though. So this is the new map. And there is a town in the way. Can we... No? Uh, okay. Oh god, we need to bring it this way. Okay. How about we need to steer it? Kinda that way, that way, that way, that way. How about right down there? Okay, is that a nice way? Uh, there is a whole building in the way. Um, okay, how about we just use this? Oh god. Uh, how about this? <laughs> how about that? Okay, okay. Panda seems to be free. How about this? How about that? What is your way? Your way is going that way. Is that safe? Okay, that billboard is in the way, so... Let's take a cable here. Let's place this cable right out there. Oh, Jesus. Um, I actually wonder what will happen if you fail, though. It will probably explode. It's not quite sure. I think it, this is like a bunker stick uh, from the World War. We had like. Oh god. Uh, you had like this, in, in the World War you had like a stick, they used that to run up to the beach. But they needed to explode like a bunker or a barrier type of deal. They used that stick with a small uh, thing up front with a bomb. And then from a long distance they Use the stick to actually explode something. Okay, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Nice! That was actually, you know, I would say kind of easy. Maybe they could have made the map a little, like, longer to say. Hmm, okay. Let's see what is next then. Ah. Uh, Scene. Oh, that's him and his uh, his mom. You're not gonna tell me this is the end of the game already. I mean, if so, there are challenges. Yeah, okay, there are challenges left. Oh man, I have enjoyed this game so much, but let me then quick show you what these challenges are. So, five minutes in, jeez. Okay, so we have here challenges, right? There are a lot of maps, and by the look of it, they still need to add two more maps 
uh, which will be Wonderland and Curlington. But you know, the developers have been doing a great job adding stuff over time. I'm gonna trust on it. So, uh, I checked out these challenges already like a long while ago after uh, the you know part one of the game, and then you know, I have part two, which we played in the last couple of weeks. So this is fetch, pick up as many targets as possible and get to your escape vehicle before time run out. So I just want to show you very shortly what this stuff all is. Yeah, so here you got a lot of targets, right? And we have one minute of time. Now by the look of it, I would kind of start here, get there, then do this one, that one. And then it's getting tough because you need to get as much targets as possible. But the nicest thing about this is that we now have blue tide. I only have two. I might need to ooh, get back some. Okay, so if I take this, we can go super fast, right? Take another one to go super fast. Now what I still can do is go back to other maps and you know get a lot of this stuff. So this will just speed up insanely. Now this thing is here. Man, I'm still surprised that the game is finished. So we have here one, right? I'm just gonna take two. The other one is up here. And there is the boat, right? It is super simple and I would like to see with, you know, if you guys like, then I can see how much I can grab before realizing that I can't. <laughs> can go down here, get in the boat, Oh jeez, it's very simple, but it's still, you know, fun. We, we could do that. Now the second one is a bit uh, different because it's hunted. Pick up as many targets as possible from randomized positions, avoid the guard helicopter. Now it doesn't say really a target though, you just need to pick up as much as possible. Oh, yeah, it is randomized, so you never know where it's at. So, okay, 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 stop, 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 you don't have to, you don't have to, ah, oh, that's, no, that's super difficult, man, that is super difficult. You cannot destroy that thing. Yeah, that just is, you know, I would say kind of impossible to do, you know, but we could just ignore the hunted stuff because how how in the world, I, I cannot run faster, but maybe, maybe. But this one I think is very fun too. And I played this, like I said, after part one. So if I remember correctly, there are three boxes. Uh, you can destroy 1000 voxels like this and uh, you know before the time I start this is just so you can open doors and stuff so you got like this detonator you can place these things around in the map along with these kinds of explosives and then if you press this button you know the logic thing will happen now in here why don't you ah there are two other boxes so in this one you have also two explosives with a red button so each button only explodes two of these and right down there so then you know you have to prepare the map and place certain things where you would like to have it and then you know you can start having fun you can just do this you know <laughs> do that the best thing of this of it is right now is that we have these things so we could you know place all of this stuff around and then you know do what needs to be done so yeah let me know down below in the comment section would you like to see challenges then we can do fetch mode or maybe you guys say we only want mayhem stuff so then we can do all of these with mayhem stuff.